Whoa, look at it go, man. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, I like, I like. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. No, 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 no. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, we are here at the park again, and I've got this little guy with me. This is something I actually built uh, a while back, but I haven't really gotten to test it out. Um, this is basically a flying wing version of the bat wing, the wing that's on the bat. Uh, we have 30 amp ESC Emax uh, RS 2205. We've got a little spectrum receiver on there. Dalprop uh, 5040 tri blades on there and these cheap servos. And I'm going to start out using a uh, 850 milliamp hour uh, three cell battery. And I've got this little XT60 adapter on here. Um, I don't know. I'm going to fly it, and then we'll and I'll talk about it. But I have some I have some thoughts on how this might uh, how this might go because uh, I have flown this a little bit in the backyard. And... Oh. Anyway, let's fly. <laughs> hey, it's actually kind of flying. It's, uh, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Hey there, come on now. Doesn't sound very good at all. Oh, wow, oh, wow, hey, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 come on now. There we go, there we go. Wow. It is really doing some serious porpoising stuff. Why is that happening? Whoa. No, stay away from that pole, stay away from the pole. Wow, um, okay, so. Ooh, that was a nice landing, wasn't that a nice landing? It could be, maybe I have too much uh, reflex or something in here, the, the, the angle that, the, like basically the default angle that the uh, Elevons have. But that was really interesting though, because it was really like, it was going up and then it wanted to go back down and it wanted to go back up. So I think, hmm. 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 I had checked the CG before. So it see it okay, so it is nose heavy. I think what's happening is that it's nose heavy, but the reflex is causing it to go back up, but then it goes back down. I'm gonna change the reflex and then try it again. A uh, better, much better. Yeah, better, but uh The 1300 milliamp hour, still three cell, right on the nose. I'm hoping this will give it a little bit more stability with the extra mass and maybe a little nose weight to keep it uh, from, uh, I, I guess, porpoising. Oh, hey, hey, I like, I like. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like. No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That looks really cool, but wow! All right, so it's actually not too bad. It's but it's uh, it's very um, tipsy. Well, it fixed the problem of it porpoising, so it was much smoother. I mean, it was actually like fairly controllable, but because the 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 thrust is coming from like so far back, and then we've got like the weight up here, and then the ailerons back here or the elevons. It's a very like I guess small CG range, and then also the fact that it's not really a wing, or I mean it's not really an airfoil per se. Um, it's mainly just kind of like a flat board, so it kind of it, it kind of wants to like fly like that. But because the thrust is back here, once it gets to that point, it just wants to keep tipping up. Plus we have a decent amount of wind and a ton of surface area on here. Um, what time is it? It is exacto time. We're gonna make a few small modifications here. I was gonna chop it out to like here, farther back, but we'll just do this little guy, this little bit first. Now I'm thinking that, uh, man, that's thick. Look how tough that is. Dang, that's really durable. Now it's unprotected. But I'm thinking that having it more swept back like this is gonna help because I think right here, I think this angle, I mean this flat piece right here is really causing some problems in, in terms of the, the porpoising and whatnot. So 
we're gonna slice this off and uppy downy stuff. We should get less uppy downy problems um, in terms of it going woo 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 woo. And uh, yeah, I think that looks better too. Doesn't that look better? That looks better. Aww. Okay, you know what that tells me? That tells me that uh, this baby is nose heavy, but it might be nose heavy at lower speeds, but it may be just the ticket for more stable flight, especially at higher speeds. So I'm gonna give it a little more throttle this time. Should have given it more power. Seems like there's too much, you know what, I think there's too much uh, downward deflection. Let me change, I'm gonna change the, uh, I'm gonna adjust the sub trim here. Oh wow, much better. Much, much, much better. Oh wow, look at it go. Look at that baby go. Now we're talking, folks. Now we are talking. Oh wow, that's crazy. Much better uh, pitch control. Tracks way better. Uh, the speed doesn't have as much of an effect, or I mean the throttle. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, throttle's like, it's just like a slight climb on the throttle. Oh, oh man. Okay, I'm gonna chop the throttle and see what happens. Much better, wow. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh man, you guys, I've created something. I've created something. Something cool. Kinda, something that works. This is like, let's do a little roll, bring it back down. Oh. That's pretty cool. That's something you don't get to do on, uh, you know, all kinds of other models. Have that that uh, that quick, snappy roll and stuff. Oh my goodness, this is so cool! I still don't like how loud it is, but it's. Uh, I think it's most, mainly the wind. See, like, uh oh, uh oh, dead stick, dead stick, dead stick, dead stick, dead stick. Wait, nope, nope, nope. That was weird. All right, I lost control for a second there. I'm pretty sure that was it was at full, or it wasn't half. It was at least at half throttle, and I uh, I seem to have lost control, or at least it felt like it. it. Seemed like it was not doing anything, but um, that was actually a pretty decent glide, uh, for just kind of gliding in the wind. So I'm wow, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, that's kind of weird. I mean, you know, this this receiver is not the greatest receiver that I'm using, but. That, that rarely, rarely happens. Controls are working good. I'm gonna give it probably about maybe 70, 60 or so percent throttle on takeoff. Maybe more. Probably, probably more, like 75 percent. All right, here we go. And it still wants to just like pitch down. Maybe that's just what wings do. I don't know. I mean, look at this guy though. It. I am getting a little bit of torque, so it does want to roll. I might need to add some trim in there does want to roll to the right a little bit, but I mean, compared to before, look at that, can you see that? Can you see what I'm doing there? This thing, this thing is like, this thing is really tracking compared to before. Some rolls, maybe let's do a, maybe do a loop. Uh, you know, it actually, Actually, it's pretty dang stable. I will say that. Let's try. Let's see. Let's see what it does when it stalls. Oh yeah, no, it's not really ideal. But it's full up. Not the best for slow flight. Certainly. I I have. It does seem like when it gets low to the ground, that's when it gets really. Uh, Really porpoisey, really bumpy, and of course at slow speeds as well. Definitely gets a little unstable with the when at low speeds, which I think is just a characteristic of most wings. It's pretty common, so I just have to remember to uh, keep that speed going. <laughs> uh, 
That was a good one. Full throttle. Uh... Oh man, this thing is fun though. Still getting used to these flying wings. I kind of forget that, like, if you're flying, and you, especially with a low speed, you're flying this good. We got all the surface area, and then you turn, and then boom, surface area gone. So I gotta get used to that. Otherwise, it's pretty good though. Uh, it's crashing really well. I think this guy, this guy, just may be a contender in uh, in combat, in uh, flight fest uh, combat. So. Yeah, be looking for this guy at the next uh, Flight Fest. Oh yeah. Well, that was super fun. I am very, very, very pleased that this actually um, it's actually worked out pretty well. Like, way better than I thought it would, given with how poorly it flew at first. I guess it just goes to show that just by taking off, you know, or making a few small changes to something can make a big difference in the performance. And also, we learned that we need a lot of nose weight for these uh, uh, flying wings, especially when the thrust is coming from so far aft. And uh, reflex uh, in the elevons plays a pretty big role. That was really fun. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Be sure to like this video and subscribe and all that stuff and leave nice comments for me and, uh, <laughs> and all that other stuff. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Fine, I'll...